Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Big Akar Ahmed, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be going ahead and talking about how the world needs God more than anything right now. We need God's blessings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, more than anything in the world right now. And I don't care if you're Christian, I don't care if you're Jewish, I don't care if you are a Muslim, I don't care what you are and what you label yourself as Sunni, Shia, Protestant, Catholic. I don't care what you are, the world needs God more than anything. You need to dedicate your time, you need to dedicate your energy to the creator of all things right now more than any time in human history. And I'm going to go ahead and explain to you why. Right now, the devil is at play more than anything or, or more than any time in history, right? The devil has full control of the media, and the media is at a level where the internet is widespread across the world. You click a couple buttons, you hit enter, and the biggest companies in the world can push out whatever message they want, say whatever they want, build whatever image they want in an AI, build whatever voices they want with an AI, do whatever they want at this point in full production Hollywood studios, fake whatever they want, say whatever they want, and push it out to the world within seconds. And within a few hours, the whole entire world is reacting to this news. Look at COVID. COVID is the perfect example. As when COVID struck and they said, look, COVID's here, it's going to kill everyone, you need to get the vaccine, you need to quarantine, the whole world was hiding under a rock for months. And when I say the whole world, I mean the whole world. There wasn't a country on earth, maybe like Sweden or a few you know, exceptions, whatever the case may be, that did not lock down. But for the most part, everyone was hiding like it was a zombie apocalypse. And this is the first indication here in 2020 that the world is not prepared for what is to come. The world will fall directly into the traps that are being set up right now in 2024. And this is something we need to protect ourselves from. And the only way you're going to protect yourself, I don't care how many bullets you have, I don't care how much food you have, I don't care how many soldiers you have, it's not going to protect you. The number one thing that's going to protect you here in this life and the afterlife is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is God Almighty, is your relationship, your personal relationship and your personal love for the creation of the heavens earth and everything in between and this is something that is lacking heavily in the world this is something that is being naturally inclined to all over the world because they see how messed up the world is right now satan shaitan lucifer and his army are at full war with humanity when i say full war they're going all out trying to break the barriers what we're seeing right here is prophetic things Things that you see in the Revelation section of the Bible. Things you see in the end time sections of Islam in the Quran. Explaining all of the signs of the end times. When the Antichrist will come back. When all of these things will happen. When Jesus will return. And the Mahdi will return. And, and these great and honorable people will return. السلام, and when they come back. And all of these things that are prophesied. Within religion, within Christianity, without, within Islam, within Judaism, within these religions, within the prophetic scriptures of God Almighty, when these things are being played out in real life in front of our face on a large scale, is it not obvious enough that they're trying to push some type of end times event, that they're trying to push these things to the end? They're trying to push God Almighty and provoke God Almighty to the point where they see Him react. And this is something that you just don't want to do. Why would you want to go against God? Why would you want to destroy his blessings, his destroy his world, destroy his, you know, his other creations, his animals and his plants and his oceans and his skies? Why would you want to do something like this? And I promise you guys that there are human beings that are 200 times worse than shaitan than the devil ever will be. These human beings are 1 billion times worse than the devil. Because on the day of judgment, the devil will separate himself from you. You'll say, God will say, hey, why are you an alcoholic? You say, you know, the devil came to me. He made me out. And the devil said, I just told you to drink the alcohol. I never drank the alcohol with you. I never did any. I separate myself from you. I divide myself from you. But the human being is something completely different. Completely different. These human beings are forcing it on you. These human beings are physically making these things a thing. They're not just telling you. They're doing it to you. If you like it or not, you're paying interest. If you like it or not, you're seeing boobs and you're seeing butt. You're seeing nudity. If you like it or not, you're going to be exposed to drugs. You're going to be exposed to alcohol. If you like it or not, you're going to be exposed to gambling. If you like it or not, they're going to be controlling 
what you're seeing through the internet. And these are things that are so, so, so scary. And these are things you need to watch for. Not the invisible shaitan that you can't see that whispers in your ear. You need to worry about the physical shaitans that are out here actually playing chess with the world, with continents, with billions of people and populations. These are things we need to worry about. The devil is at play, his soldiers are at play, and this is where you need to identify them. And it's almost impossible to identify them and truly stay away from them if you are not preparing yourself, if you are not training yourself. Just like you do push-ups, just like you work out your arms, your legs, you do leg day, you do arm day, you do cardio, and you go to the gym, you need to work out your soul, you need to work out your inclinations to your creator, your connection with your creator right? This is what you need to do. Just like you work on a relationship with a girl or a guy. So you work on your relationship with your parents or work on a relationship with your family members. You have to work on the relationship. You have to rebuild it. If you've lost trust, you need to regain trust. This is something that's so, so, so important. And I cannot stress this enough right now in the world today. This is exactly what we need more than anything. And you can see it naturally happening. You can see how the world is going worse and worse and worse with everything that we see. If that might be with the entertainment industry and what you see with like Chris Tyson and, um, you know, Mr. Beast and all these people like, like Dr. Disrespect and these online streamers, or you see with the artists that are getting caught up with minors and seeing the artists who are getting caught up with, you know, drugs and killing people and doing these crazy things and ending up in jail. Are you seeing these actors who are on Epstein's Island or are running their own, you know, things or do they rape their, this person or they did this or they did this. And you see these politicians that are being caught up in all of this garbage. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, 32 charges and he's running for president. Joe Biden can't speak. You see all of these different things, these crimes that are being committed in our face and we're okay with it. Let them kill, let them rape, let them have intercourse with little children. We're letting them do whatever they want and we're watching. This is the devil at play. We are being desensitized in front of our eyes. But then when someone says, you know, no, you can't do that or no, you can't say that, it's boom, they're on your case. You preach God, you say something good, then they're on your case. You do something bad, you do a crime, you do something evil to children or whatever the case may be or destroy society and they cheer you on. They give you a gold medal trophy. They put you on the top of the pedestal. Yes, confuse people. Uh, make opposites um, you know, attack each other. Left and right, Democrat, Republican, black and white, male and female. And then let's mix it all up and bring in the transgender stuff and do all these different things. They're really, really, really pressing us and they're really pushing for a weakening of the soul. They don't care about your body. They don't care about your mind. They're weakening your soul. And just like I said, just like you do push-ups, you go to the gym, you work out your body, you work out these things, you work on a relationship, you need to work on your soul. You need to work on that relationship you have with the creator of all things, with God Almighty, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you don't, then you're going to be in a very terrible spot. You can buy as many guns as you want. You can gather your whole community together. You can do whatever you want. Create a farm and you know have unlimited food. But that's not going to help you at the end of the day. The only thing that's going to help you is the divine guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The divine guidance of God Almighty. This is exactly what you need in your life. And this is something that many, many of us lack. Including myself at many points of my day. Right? The best things you can do to go ahead and fix this, which we'll get into in just a second, is praying, fasting, um, giving to charity, giving to the less needy, you know, learning your community, knowing your neighbors, things of the, just the small little things you can do. And these are dedicational things. These aren't motivational things. You're not motivated to fast. Like you, no one's motivated. No one wants to not eat. No one wants to not drink. No one wants to give their money away. No one wants to go and stop what they're doing and, and go pray five times a day. They don't want to do it, to be completely real with you. Yeah, you might find peace in it. You might like doing it, but you don't want to do it, okay? And this is where dedication comes in, and we throw away the word motivation. This is where motivation no longer matters because no one's motivated to do anything anymore. The only thing people are motivated to do is scroll on TikTok and get brainwashed. So what are we going to do? We're going to dedicate ourselves. We're going to tell ourselves, no matter what, at this time, I need to pray. No matter what, in this month, I need to fast. No matter what, 
Every Friday, I'm going to go out to the corner and give this homeless person some money. Or I'm going to go out to this place and give the homeless people food. This is what you do. You give back to your community. You establish relationships, not with not just with your community, but with God Almighty. And I promise you, the way that God will guide you through things is in incredible you will see things that you've never seen before i don't care if a billion bombs are dropping on your head god will somehow protect you through it and that's just how it goes when you establish a personal relationship with your creator your creator will divine like when i literally say divinely guide you through things in life he'll divinely guide you through everything no matter what's happening He'll show you a sign. He'll give you a word. He'll throw you a definition. He'll teach you a new word today just to get you out of the worst situation possible or to save you or save your family. And guess what? If you go ahead and pass away in this world, guess where you go? Back to your creator for eternity. And there's one thing I just want everyone to know is that your body is temporary. When you look at your body and you look at your hands, you go, wow, I feel like I'm inside of this. You, it feels like a simulation. It feels like you're playing a game. When I look at myself, I feel like I'm more than just my body. I'm deeper than my body. I have a soul inside of here. Something is controlling my body. My body is just a vessel, right? And when you realize that, when you're looking down and realize that, you realize well, my body's temporary. But is the thing inside my body temporary? No, your soul lives forever and that's what you need to focus on. That's what you need to charge up. That's what you need to go ahead and work out. That's what you need to connect to your creator because that's the thing that's going to return to your creator. And that is unfortunately something that has been lacking in society for a very long time. And that's what they're attacking. They're attacking our soul through every means possible. If that is through you know political means, if that's through a- a- entertainment, if that's through social means, if that's through whatever the case may be, they're attacking our souls and they want us divided. They want us hating each other. They want us you know, turning to things that are demonic. They want us turning to drugs. They want us turning to alcohol. They want us turning to music. They want us turning to anything but God for comfort, for guidance, for understanding. And this is why everyone's depressed and suicidal. This is why relationships don't work out and the divorce rate is so high. This is why countries are collapsing and the economies are collapsing. This is why we're on the verge of World War III. This is why Israel can go ahead and commit a full-fledged genocide and the world does nothing about it. This is why Ukraine and Russia can do what they're doing and no one does nothing about it. This is why Venezuela can completely collapse over the last 15 years and no one does anything about it. This is why the world is physically collapsing in front of our face. No one does anything about it. Girls can sell their boobs and their butts online. No one does anything about it. Everything can happen. The way it happens, people can talk to minors and kids can get kidnapped and raped and take the islands and no one does anything about it. Our president can't form a full sentence and no one does anything about it. And this is the stage that we're in today. This is the stage we're in today. Your soul is so weak. As a collective of 8 billion people on the planet, our souls are so weak that we let this stuff happen in front of our face and do nothing about it. We are scared. We are weak human beings. And inshallah, within the next upcoming year to two years, there is this wake-up call. There is a reaction, right? There's a reaction to the action that is taking place. And there will be. Because eventually, like I said, when there's action taking place, there's a reaction, okay? And right now, there's a lot of action taking place and not a lot of reaction. So eventually, that little bubble will burst, and it'll be a big bubble. And when it does burst, the reaction will be so, so, so large that we might not even come back from this reaction. This reaction will be so large because it's billions of souls screaming for help. It's not your body screaming for help. It's billions of souls. Your soul is screaming for help. It wants help. And the only way you're going to do that is to dedicate yourself. And we're going to go ahead and end it off here. And I'm going to go ahead and say this one last time. Dedicate yourself. Dedicate yourself. No matter who you are, what you are, tell yourself, I'm going to dedicate myself. Today, I'm going to read the Quran. I'm going to read 10 pages of the Quran, right? By the end of the month, I'll be done with it. You know, I'll read 10 pages every day until the end of the month. Dedicate yourself. Force yourself to do it. At 10 o'clock every night, I'm going to do it. You know, or in the morning, I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. I'm, I'm going to pray. The morning prayer. And then after the morning prayer, I'm going to work out. These are dedications. No one wants to work out. It hurts. It takes time. 
It's boring. No one wants to work out. No one wants to pray. No one wants to fast and stay away from water and stay away from food. You have to do it. Dedicate yourself. I promise you, when you dedicate yourself, when you remove yourself from this physical world, you realize you're more than just the body. You realize you're more than just that depressed feeling that you're feeling. You're more than just that anxiety that you're feeling. You're more than just that scared feeling that you're feeling where you feel like you can't control anything and the world's against you and you, you owe all this money on your house and you have three kids to take care of. I promise you, just pray. It takes three minutes. Pray. Close your eyes and pray. Put your head on the ground. Give it all to God. Three minutes of your day. Dedicate yourself to that three minutes. Do it. You'll leave this physical realm. You'll enter a spiritual realm. You'll disconnect from the physical world and you'll enter the spiritual world. And once you can do that, once you can fight your instincts, once you can fight the animal side of you and you can control your instincts, this is where the human being's intellect and free will actually kick in. This is where you can say, no, I don't want that. No, I'm not going to eat that. No, I'm not going to consume that. No, I'm not going to watch that. No, that is not okay. No, you've taken a step too far. This is where your soul will start to react in the real world rather than your body. And right now, we have a lot of people reacting like animals. Like they're just reacting instinctively. I'm scared. I'm happy. And they react off of their instincts. They react off of their emotions like an animal. We need to fast. We need to pray. We need to give to each other. We need to build communities with each other. We need to talk to each other. And these things are going to connect us, not just with each other, but with our creator. And once we connect with our creator and we have that bond and we can stay away from our human desires, we can stay away from basic necessities like food and water. I mean, if you can control not having food and water, if you can control not having sexual intercourse, if you can control not doing these basic instinctive things, then you can control everything. I mean, you, you can dedicate yourself to anything. And these are so simple. These are simple tasks that God Almighty tells you to do. Pray fast. You know, just call out to me. And dedicate yourself to those things. When you dedicate yourself to those things, like you dedicate yourself to smoking weed every day, you dedicate yourself to drinking every night, you dedicate yourself to eating chocolate every day, you dedicate yourself to playing video games for two hours a day. When you dedicate yourself for three minutes to hop on a prayer rug, put your head on the ground and pray, to pick up a Quran, to pick up the Bible, to go to church, to go to the mosque. When you dedicate yourself for just a little bit of time to do those things, even when you don't want to, I promise it's all going to be worth it. I promise that God is going to reach out. God is going to connect with you. And you're going to feel it. You're going to see it. Those blessings are going to fall right into your lap. Take them and run with them. Promise you. Thank you guys so much for coming today. God bless every single one of you. And I just wanted to get this message out. I just wanted to rant for a little bit and tell you that the world really needs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It really needs God. And it's not that the world needs God. It's that we need God. And a lot of us have disconnected and gone so far away from the creator that it's a scary place. And I've been to the scariest places away from the creator and you feel lost. You feel like there's nothing left in your life. You have no reason to live anymore. And that's exactly what they're doing. That's exactly what they're stripping away from us. And that's exactly what you need to look out for. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. God bless every single one of you. And inshallah, every single one of you, go ahead and prostrate today tomorrow, the next day, and continue to prostrate every day until the day you take your last breath. And thank God Almighty for the blessings you've been giving. Ask God Almighty to guide you through this messy world, this deluded world, this deceptive world where they mix truths and falsehoods and keep you protected from the lies of the devil, the lies of these human beings, and what is to come to this world. God bless every single one of you. And until next time, free Palestine, baby. Bye-bye.